Righteous Rising God, I hope your um your day is going well. I hope you're seeing, I hope you're heard, and I hope you're felt. So I just finished a four day dry fast and this is the longest dry fast like I've ever done in my life in a sense. And it was really interesting. It gave me a lot more confidence in my body and my spirit to know that I could last like four days without no food or water. And I originally like started it because I was going through like these different dense energies. So I just wanted to like center myself a bit. And there's, I'm in this like transitionary phase in my life where I'm like making a a lot of um, options are coming towards me. I just have to make sure I make the right decision. So I just wanted to be in a really centered space. And like the first few days, I was kind of like a bit off in a sense, especially since I was like still like online and still like engaging with people and still like on social media and doing all this extra stuff. And I realized it's very similar to like taking in theogens or like psychedelics. You have to be really aware and cautious what you give your energy to. Like I remember when I used to do like acid, one of the first things I did was toss away my phone. Cause being around like electronics was just like irritating to me. I mean around like nature was a lot more grounding in a sense. And I feel, excuse me, I feel like with fasting, it's a very similar energy. Cause you become a lot more focused and a lot more, and you become a lot more like meticulous like your awareness is like just like deeper right but you have to be careful upon what you give your focus to because you could be focusing on yourself development to help yourself or you could be focused on like random youtube or like instagram videos that'll just waste your time so the last day and a half and even like to now i just kind of just like got completely off no social media no texting nobody None of that. None of that at all. And it's been a lot better experience. So it's been like I kind of journaling and just like learning stuff, different things I got to learn. And also on the fourth day, which was like yesterday, but I like it officially ended like this this morning because I just um I had a water at 10 o'clock. Then I had fruit around like um 1030. And now it's around like, um it's around like um 11 sun now. And also I had like coconut water. So like it officially ended like um this morning, but I lost my voice like yesterday. But I feel like it was just like come back as I start to like integrate more foods into like my um rhythm and my routine. But it definitely was a profound experience. Also the new moon passed a couple of days ago. So like I feel like that was a good time to dry fast. I think in moving forward I may like dry fast every new moon and may water fast every full moon. I feel like that's a pretty balanced way to um take it. But yeah, it is um, definitely profound. It's amazing how much the body could have with staying. Because even on the fourth day, even like this morning before I even drank anything, I was still peeing. And I'm like, wow, like, have you even drunk anything, but I was still peeing. And it reminds me of our friend Jeremy. Shout out to Jeremy. He went on like a 71-day a juice fast, and he said he was still pooping. So I feel like what science tells us about a body and like what it's capable of, is off the mark because if you don't eat solids for 71 days and you're still going to the bathroom, clearly the body is functioning in a state that science has not told us about yet. It probably has, but I just haven't heard about it yet. But I'm excited to try more fast in the future. Like I've done like 11 day mango fast, a six day watermelon fast, a four day apple juice fast, and like on and off different water and dry fast. But this has been the longest dry fast of like did yet so I definitely wanted to document it just to like look back on and also inspire people I don't think that everyone needs to drive fast like it's really not like necessary for most people but if you want to test your spirit if you want to test your willpower if you want to test your diet if you want to test like yourself I feel like fasting son because it's not even just the health because I'm like fairly healthy regardless it's not even just a health thing for me it's like testing the mind and the spirit you know because mom would be like oh you should drink this oh you should eat this but it's just like sit down and discipline your physical forms it's like no my mind and my spirit is running this shit bro like you're not going to tell me what to do i do what i want you know and that's because the body sometimes it does things that the mind and the spirit don't really uh, align with but fasting kind of puts them all on center so imagine you have a ship right and you're the captain of the ship right 
And some of the workers are like, oh, we should go south. And you're like, no, I'm the captain of this ship. We're going north, bruh. And that's what fascinates. He's like telling like you're everyone in the ship, everyone in your body, we're doing this and nothing else. Right? That's being very disciplined and sovereign in yourself. So it's a beautiful experience. I'll definitely say take it slow if you're gonna do it and study on it as much as you can and also being around like a loving environment. The thing uh, the other thing I did notice every day I come into like the fields like earth and be in nature and get like sunlight, right? And I feel like every time my earth feels like that was my nourishment in a sense and I feel like it'll be better in the future for me to have like natural streams and like rivers and like oceans to like tap into and just like um get nourishment that way as well. But um remember our diet is only what we eat. Our diet is what we consume through the five senses. And that was the thing I was kinda like messed up on the first few days. I was just like consuming a lot of like content online, like videos, voice chats, video chats, emails, it's all like all this tech like all that extra stuff, right? The last couple of days, I was just kind of like a lot more censored, which helped me a lot. But, um, yeah, thank you for your time. I hope your day is going well. I hope you're seen. I hope you're heard. I hope you're felt. And I hope you're eating fruit. I love you and I cherish you. And, um, yeah, enjoy your day.